in this exercise, what we're going to be doing is, is painting maybe a creek or a river that's coming through a landscape. Um, and I think I'll put a boat in it and maybe a, a dock piling, something like that. So you can see how um, things would behave in a case like this. So let's say I'm going to have uh, a bit of the river coming in here. Let's say a river or a part of a lake. Maybe I'll have the bank coming in like this. Back here, I'm going to have just some trees, you know, this sort of a forest scene or the river is winding through this landscape. So I'm just trying to draft in good shapes. Um, that's the bottom line. I mean, I've talked about this before, but you're always in the business of trying to create a nice set of shapes. And it's a fairly calm day, so what I'm going to get is a little ripple on the water. So notice how I'm drafting in my reflections. This is, and I'm going to get some reflections of the trees down here. Notice that when, when something is reflected in the water, like this post here, it's going to be reflected in the mirror image direction. I generally work from background to foreground, not always the case, and I tend to generally work from my lights to my darks. Because um, in watercolor, being a transparent medium, I can paint a dark over top of a light, but I can't paint a light over top of a dark. So let's start to put in, we'll get in some of our nice yellows and oranges, you know, a sense of fall in gold country or in the east coast or something so i'm going to start to get just put in some of my fall foliage back here again being cognizant that my edges are where my trees take on their shape so as i get up in here i want to make sure the tips of my trees are have structure to them um, and not just a blobby lollipop shape okay so good I've got that now I'm ready to, to tackle my water so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix up sort of the sky color for my water because that's gonna be in everything assume that none of the trees are there and that this river is just reflecting sky or this body of water is just reflecting sky so we're gonna start with that and while this is damp I'm just gonna start to lay in some of the reflections back here of these fall trees. So wherever you see tree, I say lay in these oranges and yellows and the blue that's behind them, which I already painted in the water, will dull them slightly, which is kind of what you want. Getting this in and I'm gonna keep pulling these, this nice foliage that's showing up down into here. Now as I get into this reflection I'm going to start to jagger the edge a little bit. And what it's doing I just want to, I'm just reflecting all this fall foliage in these trees back here. I'm going to show you a technique for lifting out the reflection of the boat. But let's get this while we can. Getting all these nice yellows and reds. A few windows. So what's going on up above is going on down here below, only a little more, not as quite as defined because it's on this moving river surface, if you will. 